Okay, I thought there was too much news from Mobile World Congress, but now the Game Developers Conference is here, and it's all like, nope, guess what, there's more. <laughs> With the light activation and silent tactile bump, Topper Type Heaven keyboards bring the best of both worlds. So to start it off, NVIDIA made two huge announcements yesterday. First, the latest Shield device, which is called Shield. Just Shield. It's a console running Android TV for 200 bucks. Inside is the Tegra X1 mobile chip with its 256 CUDA cores and Maxwell architecture. It's able to stream 4K video at 60 FPS. And when it launches in early May, it will have 50 games ready to run natively, including all the Android games in the Shield store, as well as more recent ones like Borderlands the pre-sequel. But can it run Crisis? Yes, Crisis 3 to be exact. They're actually apparently still working on the port, but they showed off a demo and it looks good. The device itself comes with a shield controller and a remote for navigation and voice search, and of course, works with Nvidia's game stream technology as well. Nvidia also revealed more details about their grid streaming service. Right now, all shield device owners have it for free, but that's only until June when it will launch the subscription service, both a 720p basic and a 1080p premium version. Nvidia's other huge announcement was, yep, the Titan X. NVIDIA CEO Jen Sun Huang actually came on stage during Epic Games founder Tim Sweeney's talk and presented the new GPU to Sweeney, that lucky bastard. The only actual details we got about the card was that it has 12 gigabytes of VRAM and 8 billion transistors. We can speculate that it's not a dual GPU card since the fan is off to one side and there appears to be dual SLI connectors, so it could likely have the full GM200 Maxwell chip inside. But we'll have to wait for the full specs until NVIDIA's GPU tech conference on March 16th. Boo, we want it now! What, you thought that was all the news? Nope! Valve announced the Steam Link, a $50 box that will stream 1080p 60fps content for machines running Windows, Linux, or SteamOS, and even Macs. For another 50 bucks, you can get the Steam Controller, whose design has apparently been finalized, and will launch in November along with, that's right, Steam machines. Those are still happening apparently, with boxes shown off by Zotac and Cyberpower, with more coming before their November release. Valve also announced Source 2, the second iteration of their extremely popular game engine, which will support the new open source Vulkan graphics API and will be free to developers. Valve also gave a closer look at Lighthouse, the full room tracking system for HTC's Revive headset, which runs Steam VR. And HTC, for their part, apologizes for accidentally teasing Half Life 3 in an interview. It's not a big deal, it's fine. It's never coming, people. <laughs> Half-Life 3 not confirmed. And with all the VR hubbub, don't forget about Sony's Project Morpheus. The company showed off a new prototype of their headset with a new 1080p OLED display running at 120 hertz, a latency of 18 milliseconds, and an about 100 degree field of view. I don't really understand how the PS4 will be able to run games at 1080p anywhere close to 120 FPS when it can't even manage the same resolution and 60 FPS now, but that's the benefit of a closed platform, I guess. We'll have to see for ourselves when it launches in 2016. Some of you may have noticed Jack and I yell random phrases that people tweet at us, and I've done a few German ones, but the other day we had Christoph from Be Quiet in the studio, and he's actually German. So without further ado, a German word yelled by a German. Donau Dampfschifffahrts, Elektrizitäts, Hauptbetriebswerks, Bau, Unternehmer, Beamtengesellschaft und so weiter. Tomorrow, Thursday, March 5th, is the last day for you to help NCIX donate to the Children's Wish Foundation. We started it up when we made a sick NCIX PC for an awesome kid named Jaden. You can help donate by tipping NCIX rewards points on the forum post and liking or following us on Facebook and Twitter. Click here or the link in the description for more details. Alright, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. I'm gonna go take a nap now before any more announcements show up. But wait, Microsoft has that thing. No! No. Tomorrow. It's nap time.